New research shows almost one-third of the Japanese population lives on land that is vulnerable to shaking in the event of an earthquake. A study group from the National Research Institute for Earth Science and Disaster Prevention did the analysis. The researchers found that areas that are especially vulnerable to shaking account for 6% of Japan's total area. The areas include the Kanto Plain around Tokyo and plains surrounding other major cities, Osaka, Nagoya and Sapporo. The researchers say about 38 million people live in these areas. They say there is a high possibility of liquefaction, particularly in coastal regions and riverside districts created using landfill and sand. Major metropolitan areas with large numbers of residents invariably stand on weak foundations. The study points to the need for extensive efforts to make buildings quake-proof and capable of withstanding liquefaction. Regulation Authority have again failed to agree on the assessment of fissures. The cracks are located below the Oi plant in Fukui Prefecture. The experts met a second time to try to reach consensus about a long fissure identified as F6, what is known as a fracture zone. It runs in a north-south direction. The team carried out an on-site assessment. The fissure passes beneath pipes that funnel seawater to cool the number three and number four reactors, the only reactors operating in the country. If the fissure is an active fault, the Nuclear Regulation Authority has indicated it will order the plant closed. That would be in accordance with government guidelines that prohibit building or running a major nuclear facility above an active fault. <laughs> Sometimes just think funny things. In a meeting on Wednesday, the operator of the plant, Kansai Electric, expressed its view that the fissure is not an active fault. The serpentine rock in this trench would appear to be a slip plane. We do not believe that any movement in the F6 fracture zone has occurred in recent geological times. One of the experts, however, was dissatisfied. The company is denying any talk of a geological fault. I'm skeptical as to whether drilling was done at sufficient depths to support such a view. My impression is that the investigation so far is insufficient. No shit. With a split of opinion, the panel is likely to request further geological surveys from Kansai Electric. The authority will work more quickly to determine whether an active fault is putting the plant at risk. It's too soon to reach a conclusion. When the experts have the proper data, they should be able to reach a unanimous conclusion. Now, other stories making headlines this week. I'm really shocked. Growths on both young daughters' thyroids. I deeply regret making them stand outside for hours in high radiation. Now, these are parents out of Japan. Henry Kissinger, there's a name we haven't heard in a while, linked think tank pressuring Japanese to keep nuclear power. GE, we bring good things to live in. TEPCO to try and remove steel debris on top of fuel racks and number three fuel pool. They have concern about the liner, as do we all. Uh, you got to remember number three is the one that really, really blew up big, uh, where the actual cloud looked like an atomic blast. Uh, TEPCO president will come clean your house in Fukushima. Yeah, right. Photo smiling mascot asks Fukushima kids to gargle to stay safe from radiation. 
Radiation sparkles on happy children. Can you believe this? Official sabotage at California San Ofre nuclear power plant. Apparently they found some um, oil or some kind of liquid where it wasn't supposed to be. And uh, they think that if after the plant was already turned on and rolling, they said if they didn't discover this, the governor would have burned out on this unit kind of thing. Of course, no danger to the public. But uh, they're not quite sure what the heck's going on in San Ofre right now. And of course, the, the cracks found in the South Korean nuclear reactor reported on yesterday, um, where they have counterfeited credentials to their parts. So these things are not safety checked on all 23 of South Korea's reactors. Uh, they're definitely <coughs> under a big panic there as far as trying to figure out what's good and what's not. And if they're finding cracks in the faulty, shady stuff, uh, who knows? We have waited, have waited for so long for somebody to listen to us. You okay? No, nah, man. I'm pretty fucking far from okay. When the mainstream press and the government says nobody could have predicted this, they're lying through their fucking teeth. Diana. Name something that can kill a lively party. If you have painful, swollen joints, I've been in your shoes. One day I'm on top of the world. The next I'm saying, I have this uh, thing called psoriatic arthritis. I had some uh, intense pain. It progressively got worse. My rheumatologist told me about Embril. I'm surprised how quickly my symptoms have been managed. Because Enbrel suppresses your immune system, it may lower your ability to fight infections. Serious, sometimes fatal events including infections, tuberculosis, lymphoma, other cancers, and nervous system and blood disorders have occurred. Before starting Enbrel, your doctor should test you for tuberculosis and discuss whether you've been to a region where certain fungal infections are common. Don't start Embril if you have an infection like the flu. Tell your doctor if you're prone to infections, have cuts or sores, have had hepatitis B, have been treated for heart failure, or if while on Embril, you experience persistent fever, bruising, bleeding, or paleness. Get back to the things that matter most. Good job, girls. Ask your rheumatologist if Embril is right for you. We have waited have waited for so long for somebody to listen to us. When the mainstream press and the government says nobody could have predicted this, they're lying through their fucking teeth.
the I appreciate line. the tenor of the conversations. Uh, I think it will actually yield results uh, before the end of the year, and I look forward to continuing this dialogue in the months ahead. Thank you very much, everybody.